It was standing room only in the Florida Senate's health policy meeting. $50 billion of federal health care money is on the line in the form of a Medicaid expansion proposal. People are suffering for the lack of adequate, affordable, quality health care. Florida is at risk of losing more than a billion dollars of federal low-income pool funding. That money goes towards hospitals treating the uninsured or underinsured. That has led to the Senate's proposal of a state-run insurance exchange for low-income Floridians as long as they work, attend school, or pay premiums. We have to look at options to keep our uh, hospitals open, a lot of our health care systems that depend on this low income pool money uh, to figure out how we're going to survive. Getting the House on board with an expansion proposal in the past has always been a tough sell. Former Republican House Speaker Tom Feeney, who now heads business lobby group Associated Industries of Florida, says that he's hoping the other chamber follows other conservative-led states. The House and the conservative leadership ought to adopt, like Mike Pence, the conservative governor of Indiana, did a consumer-based, choice-based plan. But not everyone's on board. James Madison Institute President Bob McClure says that if the feds are going to pull other health funding, they could potentially take away this money down the road. They're not reliable for a proven source of funding for the state that's been in place for years. Why would we double down on that? If Florida doesn't accept the $50 billion, it goes toward other states that do expand Medicaid. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.